my hope for the Napa Valley is that, uh, that we can continue making the world-class wines that we're making today, that we're able to adapt with any um, changing climate mm. and weather, um, lack of water, whatever the season brings, I hope that we're able to really work together um, and continue making these world-class wines. I hope for the future that Napa will be recognized as being able to do more than just Cabernet, like it used to be. Cabernet wasn't always king in Napa, and I hope that we can recognize the attributes of other varietals, that they do well here, and that on a global scale, people can recognize us for that as well. I love that people are committed to figuring out as much as possible, or at least following um, what climate change is doing in vineyards, and how to plant different you know, grape varieties or use you know, different parts of Napa Valley to grow different things. Um, I think it's really exciting. Um, and I love the technology that's come in and being able to follow water use and um, sun hours and, you know, the way that the vines uptake nutrient. I think all of that is really important as we move into this next uh, generation of wine growing. But I think we just have to keep ever vigilant about um, the quality of the wine that comes out of the, the region. Technology has a huge way to progress in this industry. So I'm excited about the prospects of more irrigation, technology, all that good stuff. So, you know, challenges only make us stronger. I feel very strongly about the workers because that's how I started and I'm very proud of my humble origins. But now it is my turn to make sure that all of the unsung heroes that do all of the back-breaking work and that are highly skilled laborers, that their contributions are recognized. You know, I hope that it uh, continues along this path of preserving the agriculture. I mean, you know, hopefully that'll be preserved for the next 50 to 100 years. I think the preservation, the, the vineyard preservation, the agricultural preserve is, is essential. And people respecting that, those goals, and people getting better. You know, my hopes are just that we that we do keep protecting the land, and I'd like and and I'm, I'm hoping that we'll, that there'll be continue and be more opportunities for young people to be able to get in and get yeah. and get their hands on on farming their own you know their own parcels. And so together, I think we will um, we will maintain this place for a long time for you know our kids and the grandkids. And I hope also to create, um, um, to continue educating people about uh, wine and enjoying wine as a part of our lifestyle. We need to welcome millennials. And what do millennials care about? They care about health, the environment, and about authenticity. And here in Napa Valley, we have so much to give, but we need uh, to embrace and may, make wine exploration democratic so everyone feels welcome. I think in the future, you're gonna see a bigger diversity of our end user, our wine consumers that are gonna be coming here. It's not just about a particular age group or a particular demographics. I think the key thing here is the diversity and that comes because the diversity of owners, producers, the vineyard owners, the winemaker. And as more that we get that diverse, the our, our clientele is gonna become more, a lot more diverse. And that's one of the greatest things that, that, that we'll see going forward.